All right, everyone. This is the second take. <laughs> Damn it. We actually just did a whole fucking interview, and it turns out that instead of hitting the button to record, I hit the button to take a photo. <laughs> fucking stupid. So we're going to try our best to replicate everything with the same questions and everything. And, um, again, this is the only time ever we're going to have second or third takes is because of uh, error on my behalf. Um, I didn't have the camera. No, Bouncer was it was a-okay. Bouncer was excellent. So, again, we're going to go with the same questions and everything so that uh, we can learn a little bit more about Bouncer here on Bafo Asks What, Episode 2. And... Um, once again, we are on schedule, so Lynn, go fuck yourself. Um, once again, uh, this is Mr. Bouncer, so let's just get started on our way, since I see here we've already wasted a minute just talking. Um, so, Bouncer, backyard wrestling, when did you start? Well, I already said this once already, but I'll say it again. <laughs> um, I got started... Through word of mouth. Me and Backyard were friends for a long time. And he told me um, about, you know, you guys wrestling on cardboard and in fields and stuff. And that was probably maybe like 15 or 16 years ago. And um, So that was for SWA when, when Backyard was with Dawson. Yeah, yeah. He told me, you know, all that good stuff. And then I'd say... Um, what did you say? About 10 years, right? I, I started about 10 years ago, uh, thanks to Rob, Backyard. Um, I met up with him one day, and he was like, yeah, man, we still wrestle, and, um, you know, you should come and check us out sometime. And where that was, was behind Big C's house. So that's where I first, well, that's when I first started wrestling, was uh, when the ring, when we had our own Real ring behind Big C's house. Real ring, but the ring obviously still had its problems. Oh, yeah, of um, course. It was real to me, damn it. <laughs> it's still real to me. Uh, all right, so here we go. I'm, I'm going to ask you a quick question. We're going to take from our online audience, if you will. Um, now, this person claims that you don't watch wrestling anymore. And as a, as a second part to it, you know, why do you wrestle if you don't watch it? How, how, how are you going to respond to this? Well, I'm going to respond to it as a uh, fuck your life. And uh, seriously. By, um, by the way, I don't, I don't <laughs> uh, give out anyone's name as to who. Yeah, to I, have, who, I don't know who said that. Uh, actually, ask I, I don't these really questions. Care. Uh, this is just um, strictly just getting information so I can ask him. And then we go from there. Because so. they're wrong because I actually do watch wrestling, I just don't watch it as frequently as most of the other wrestlers in WMWA. And I don't watch um, WWE, um, only because I don't watch soap operas, so that pretty much answers that. Um, I do watch wrestling and I don't, I'm don't. i not serious as to where I want to make it a career, so yeah, you can pretty much say that. But the reason why I wrestle is because I got started wrestling, you know, just for something to do, just to hang out with, you know, who I knew were good people. I ended up wrestling because they're good people and they still are good people and I like being in their company. And it's good exercise. Um, it's true, it's true. So, yeah, that, that statement, uh, yeah, whoever you are, you got to get your facts straight. You obviously don't know me on a personal level and have no idea what I do in my part in my past time because whenever me and Aaron hang out, that's what we do. Aaron Douglas, you know him as a uh, as who's, Aaron Douglas. Yeah, who's the greatest? <laughs> you know, who's the greatest? <laughs> that's what we all know him as. Who's the greatest with the, with the glasses? But yeah, when we hang out, um, when we're not wrestling, um, yeah, we we uh, we we watch wrestling. We don't watch WWE. Uh, we tend to watch some highlights, but what we mainly watch is a lot of the um, Japanese wrestling and indie wrestling. Because, um, let's just face it, they're a lot better than WWE. 
a lot of promotions, yeah, are are are, are a lot better in their own ways. Definitely, I can I can definitely agree to that. Uh, now, now, Mr. Bouncer, has there been ever any point so far in wrestling that you've ever wanted to call it quits? Any point whatsoever? No. But I do feel that I am getting to that point. You know, it's just the next day it's just a little harder to get out the bed than it used to be, you know. Um, so it's just an say, age thing. Yeah, it's age, just, age. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's that's understandable. I, I just didn't know if there was any difficult times um, learning to wrestle or, or... Oh, no, I, I have a lot of fun when I learn new moves and, and new techniques. Um, for me, that's that's pretty much all I really look forward to. And then being able to show them to the world, you know. Um, it's, it's all just a really good learning experience for me, you know. All righty. Well, uh, top three. Top three. Favorite wrestler. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Favorite wrestler in WMWA. <laughs> Your favorite opponent, should I say? My favorite opponent. Um, top three, I'd have to say Aaron Douglas, Ace Armani, and Dave Dawson. <laughs> solid top three. That's a very solid top three. Now, now with that, what would you say probably be about you know your best? Or not, not best, sorry, because that's a completely different question. Your favorite match or top three? If, if, if you can't give a, a favorite match, like number one out there, if you had a, a, a top three, what, what would it be? Um, well, top three would have to be, I'm going to say the Rumble in the Jungle, the first one, with me and Aaron Douglas. Um... The match, I believe it was for the Supreme against, with uh, me and uh, Ace Armani. And, I don't know, any any six man any given day. <laughs> any, any five fight, or six man. Any six man. You, you, you like wrestling with a lot of guys, huh? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Takes a lot of the pressure off of, off of me. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Good thing for rest spots. <laughs> um. So, so I, I'm going to bring a question into this, and, and this is this is not an accusation or um, any type of uh, uh, negativity brought down on either you or your character or your or your habits. But I, I've noticed a lot that um, before some of your matches, and some of the other wrestlers are, are, are guilty of this too. Um, might partake in a little bit of smoking sometimes before your match. Now, with the safety involved, it's not only you, but the other person. Um, do you feel like, I don't know, I mean, it's not like you're on shrooms or fucking <laughs> drunk or, or on PCP or whatever, but do you, do you think it might might be a little irresponsible to to be high while wrestling? Or, or um, you know, over the years, have you become accustomed to it? Or Over the years, I mean... When I first started wrestling, I was never the ringmaster. So, like, the responsibility was never real with me because every match was still, like, a, very much a learning experience. Even though they, they still are now, but I've, I've come more into the custom of being, you know, a ringmaster. You know, just kind of, like, leading, leading the match around. Um, I say for people who just started smoking, they might not want to do it. But because I've been doing it for so long, you know, I've grown accustomed to it. You know, it's just okay. kind of like, you know, everybody's got their pregame rituals. This is true. This is true. You know, I I take a poop and smoke a blunt. That's just, that's my pregame ritual. I recommend <laughs> that to everyone. <laughs> take your poops before you wrestle. Oh, yeah, you don't want to shit yourself you in the middle of a match. You don't want to do that. And it is very easy to. You, your control is not in the lower region. You're trying to focus on your match, and you get hit wrong, and... We have a lot of cleaning to do, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do any cleaning. And, and if, if, if you're high and you need to take a shit, it just it's not. It's, it, it's even worse. It's not gonna work. Yeah. So okay. Well, I I, I appreciate you answering that. Uh, as yeah, you know you because it, yeah, you because you know being in the ring and you know the match is secondary to each other's safety. Yeah, it always is. And I will admit that back in the day when you know when I first. Started even you know a couple years into it, I had smoked a lot of blunts before before a match, and that was not always the best choice. But you know I've I've cut down on that a lot. You know I 
you, you know, you grow older, you grow wiser. So, you know, but yeah, I'd say if you just started smoking, my advice is don't smoke before a match because, you know, you just started smoking. He's going to hit you a lot harder and he's going to, you know. But, you know, if you got 18 years in it like I do, I mean, kind of just smoke on a day-to-day -day just to smoke, really. It's, Fish kind of swim. It's, it's like coffee, you know, it's like coffee. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. You, I, I need my fucking coffee, I'll tell you. Uh, go ahead, insert sleeping joke here. That's, <laughs> that's fine, go ahead. <laughs> Well, well, we'll keep going on with this. So, um, so you right now are put into an interesting position in WMWA, in which is a lot of the older wrestlers have retired. Um, myself, uh, Dawson isn't doing it as much. Rush is not doing it as much. Backyard's not taking it half as serious anymore. Used to, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, the old man needs a backpack to just to get out of bed now. Um, <laughs> Maybe he uses one for pooping too. Who knows? Uh, yeah, you know, just who, pushing that. Who knows? It's top of the toilet seat, right? <laughs> but um, so, so all of the older guys have kind of stepped out to the side and and have retired, and so it creates this gap um, in which that uh, people like yourself, um, Bobby Otis, uh, Armani, Aaron Douglas have kind of filled, and then we have you know newer newer blood. Um, coming in as well and uh, which is all also very important for a variety as well as just having new people to wrestle now so you've been put in this position to where you've been given more title shots and this and that now do you think that you've earned these shots or do you think it's maybe it could be in part of there there's less um, old school competition less less established wrestlers uh, for the belts, um, I think it's, I think it's both ways. Um, yeah, I do feel that. I mean, I've been wrestling for ten years, you know, pretty much, and I do feel that I deserve, you know, the titles that I've held and the titles that I, you know, soon that I will soon to hold. But there's also, you know, that gap of, you know, they're having the vets around, you know. You know, established wrestlers in WWE who are, you know, kind of like accustomed to them, accustomed to the things that, you know, you know, the same way that stuff goes that I am. But on the other hand, it's, you know, the new guys are great. You know, every, every last one of them, they're all, they're all awesome. And to be in the ring and to share that same fire, that same spark that they have, you know, it's, it's a good thing. You know, it's kind of like having an old couch to a new plasma. You love the comfort of the old couch, but hell, who doesn't like a new plasma? And with the Xbox One, you need one. <laughs> it's true. I would name name dropping there. Everyone go get your Xbox Ones. Get your TV first. Get your TV first. Get the TV first. Awesome. Well, I definitely uh, appreciate um, you being honest with that one. And again, I mean, I I, I don't I don't mean any of these questions as as a, as a negative, but you know, when uh. When Wayne Gretzky stops playing hockey, <laughs> you got to say, am I, am I really good? Or is it because, you know, Gretzky's out of the fucking corner here? All right. So, so okay. Well, that's a good one on that. Um, now, Mr. Bouncer, you have a couple minutes here. WMWA, at least, at least I, I believe most people are going to watch this at least once. Is there anything that you feel like you have to say or want to say to anyone, maybe, maybe not in particular or as a group, but uh, anything you want to get off your chest? Well, I've been wrestling with you guys for 10 years. I've known some of you guys longer than that. And I, let's say like this. I tell my family and my friends about you guys. You know, I look at you guys like another family. You, you've always been there for me. And, you know, I don't come to you guys with my troubles, but when I ever did, you know, you guys have always had my back. And no matter what we've been through, um, you know, I'm always going to look to all of you guys as as family. Um, I love you guys, and no matter where I go and, you know, what I do in life, um, I'll always keep you guys in contact. And, um, 
you know, we'll always stay in touch. And I love you guys, you know, this, this is my family, WWA, you know. Be glad I don't have a tattoo of this shit yet, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was thinking of it. I yeah. was thinking maybe maybe something a little cute around the ankle yeah. or <laughs> would wrap around WMWA. I'll get it in old WWF colors, blue, yellow, and white and stuff like Hell that. Hell yeah. Make it like the crown the way it was. Yeah, yep. yep. it's going to be hot. So, so watch out for that one. Well, Mr. Bouncer, uh, thank you again so much. It was a pleasure to have you here. It was a pleasure being here. This was Bafo Asks What episode two reminding all of you send in your recommendations for who's next for episode three as well as your questions i mean i can come up with a lot of questions i can talk to mr bouncer here probably for the next half hour just asking him random shit like uh do you prefer pb and jelly or pb and fluff i don't like pb and fluff i, I think fluff is stupid I am classic, PB and J. Well, fluff is kind of a weird fucking chemical. I mean, I, I don't think they just melt the marshmallow. They, I don't think... They, they, they put some shit in there. Most more would at least come back to being a marshmallow. Yeah, there's just like... There's taste. some other stuff in it. It's fucking... Uh, hey, so see, I, I can ask him a million other fucking questions. But uh, but it was really up to you guys. Uh, it shows a lot of your interest into it. So don't feel afraid to ask because, once again, our identity will never be revealed. Um, and again, thank you for watching Bafo Asks What, Episode 2. Have a great day. Peace.